Um, I knew I was going to do the Central America Trail and I wanted to spend a little bit more time in one place in Central America. Um, I also wanted to learn some Spanish before I did the trail and I wanted to get some experience working with children. Um, it's hard to pick one part. I really enjoyed the Spanish lessons. Um, I didn't really know much Spanish at all but by the end when I first started but by the end of the month I think I was at a good conversational level and um, staying in a homestay was really good as well because I got to taste some local food and my host family talked to me in Spanish a lot as well. Um, lots of things. The project was based in La Ceiba which is right on the coast um, so I went to the beach at the weekends a lot. We also took a boat trip to some nearby islands called Caios Cochinos and we did some snorkeling there and also um, got cooked some fresh fish by people living on the islands. Um, another weekend I went to some natural hot springs nearby and we went zip lining. and um, there's a sort of a national park based behind La Ceiba which is called Pico Benito. And we went there one weekend as well and did whitewater rafting, which was quite scary, but really fun. Yeah, so um, every afternoon I went to work in an orphanage nearby and I was just volunteering there. Um, I did a whole range of things. Sometimes I just sort of helped with things like cleaning and the laundry. Um, I helped in the kitchen quite a lot as well, which was actually really good. The cook was really friendly and she'd help me with my Spanish. And um, she taught me how to make some like traditional Honduran recipes as well, which is really cool. And then um, most of the time we spent with the children, so I'd be maybe helping them with their homework. Um, once a week we go to a nearby park to play football, which is always really fun. And um, sometimes I'd like help them one on one as well, so I'd sort of try and teach them some English grammar or just help them with their English conversation skills or something like that. Um, probably the people I met there. I was the only volunteer from Frontier, um, but there were actually loads of Americans there who were sort of volunteering through other companies. And I made some really good friends. I spent pretty much every day with this one girl um, and the weekends as well. So, And I miss all of the local people as well. Like All of the teachers at Spanish school were really like, friendly and nice, and they sort of go out of us on the weekends. So I think I miss the people mainly. I think really just to be as open-minded as possible. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I signed up for it and I wasn't really sure um, who was going to meet me at the airport or where I was staying or anything. Um, but it was a really good experience in the end. And um, yeah, just be really open-minded. Um, maybe take a present for your host family. They'll be really interested in you and want to see some photos of where you're from in England. So take some photos of you. Um, I'm just halfway through my online journalism internship with Frontier and I've been offered the position of Central America Trail Leader. So I'm flying out to Mexico in four days time and I'm doing two trails so I'm going to be out there for six months which I'm really excited about. Um, then I'll be coming back and hopefully finishing my internship. <laughs>